All right, you too. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, look, man, if you're a father, happy Father's Day. Um, keep up the good work. And if you're a mother, single, taking care of a young man or young woman, um, not going to wish you a Father's Day, but keep doing the great job that you're doing. So unlike most fathers, I went to work today, got off work. Here we are. We home. And so we're going to talk about an OD but goodie tonight, right? an OD but goodie, and that's gonna be the LG C1 OLED. Now, what I'm doing is actually adding a little bit of ambient light. I recently purchased these Philips Hue towers, right? Two towers that go behind the TV, add a little flare. So it's just a little bit of an upgrade, and I'm gonna use this as the backdrop for today's video when I'm having my talking points. But what I wanted to do is just kinda let you guys know, I'm doing my, my little dusting, cleaning, position my speakers and then we're going to get this stuff going but this tv is a great tv listen guys it's an amazing tv in my personal opinion this is probably best bang for the buck overall period right now i don't think you can buy a better tv dollar to performance other than the c1 and so i want to talk to you guys have some really good talking points today for you experienced vets out there let me know if you got any opinions. If you got something to offer to the discussion after this intro rolls, talk about it down below and we can discuss all of this. Now, listen, this is not going to have a lot of impression clicks. This is not the type of video that you make if you're trying to get a million views on YouTube because this is not a, a new TV. It's not. It's a TV I've had over a year. It's tried and true. I've made several videos talking about it. Before clearance is out and you can't get it, I want to make another one. So we're going to do that right after this intro. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, look, full disclaimer, I am a gamer. So a large portion of my opinion with the televisions that I talk about on my YouTube channel here that you're watching, they are going to have a gaming perspective in mind. I love playing video games. I used to play them at a extremely high competitive level. It was a large part of my life. And so I do hold that near and dear. It is not a niche. It is a must that a TV have amazing gaming features. Some of the things that I'm looking for personally, very low input latency. I'm looking for quality HDR experience. I'm looking for quality standard definition experience too. And so this TV just checks all the box, all of them, and then some. Add to the fact that this TV is based on a platform that has a proven track record, starting with the LG C9 that was produced in 2019. Now, this TV is the first of its iteration, right? And by it, I'm talking about the, the C series, the C line, started with the C9, the CX, and then the C1 that offers you an NVIDIA G-Sync functionality. This TV right now in 65 inch retails as low as about 1600 bucks. You can compare that to 2022 Sony A80K that comes in at about $2,500. You do have the A80J also that is a comparable price point with this television. Um, and the A80J of last year was the comparing model to this. It's at a comparable price and it is also a great TV too. However, for me, this comes down to be the best of the best bang for the buck. And the reason is because you have so many different classes that you can get this thing in. Like the 48 inch right now is about 880 bucks. I had that TV twice. I'll card in a video and I did enjoy it. It was an amazing experience to have that. Ooh, sorry, Laura. Man, she goes through so much stuff on these games. So much stuff. Also, guys, this is not a um, narrate over a video type of segment. This is actually me sitting and just, you know, enjoying a little bit of game time. Like I said, I just dusted my TV and and um, 
added the lights behind it and I'm, I'm loving the way it looks. Just a nice upgrade. So let's talk about some of the features with this TV. This isn't a review. If you want to see a full review from my perspective, I think I did a good job. I'll try to card that in and put it in the description. You hit the settings card on this TV and it brings up your game optimizer. We do have NVIDIA G-Sync running. This thing is running at 120 frames per second, max settings. This is a PC that I'm using with an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti Founders Edition graphics card. Um, this is an older game, but you know, everything is retro. They're either remastering or remaking games and it's, it's just kind of the trend, but this title is a very good title, very action-based. Um, so as I said, you got a few different options with the uh, LG C1. Ranges all the way from the 48 inch onwards to 83. You can get this thing in the 83 inch, which is just <laughs> ridiculous. And they're all priced extremely well. Like they're priced really, really well, guys. And as you walk into like big box stores, you will not see these TVs on display as much because they're starting to put the C2s out, which I do have a C2. Um, I haven't yet done a review on the C2, but it's coming. C2 is an amazing TV. I actually had a really good conversation with two um, very bright individuals today. Very good people. And uh, they invested into a C2. And it was just good talking to them about this. But for you guys that are looking for really good options, make sure I don't get killed or anything. <laughs> this TV is just amazing. I can't say a good. Uh, I can't say enough good about it. You know, I have this in 77 inch. This is my main driver, right? Like it was just recently, I was debating on if I wanted to get the 83 inch uh, G. And um, I mean, I, I, I really like this TV so much just for everything that it has to offer me. I don't feel like I need to do that. Right now I'm sitting about 11 and a half, maybe 12 feet away from this TV. And I mean, I could just see everything perfect. Obviously I got the tripod in front of it, but you know, it just shows really, really clear. Um, do you guys have any questions about this TV? You know, is there something you need to have tested with this TV? You know, what I don't want to happen is for you guys to miss out on a great opportunity. And as I said in my video the other day, you'd be forced to buy a C2, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I don't want to happen. I think it just absolutely sucks when you have to, you know, be forced into buying whatever the, the new latest and greatest is just because you missed out on the opportunity of getting, um, you know, something that could have suited you just perfect. Okay, so let's just talk about pricing for this TV right now, man. Um, this thing is priced really, really well. Uh, the 83 inch is going to hit you in the head for the most. It's four grand. Now, I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't encourage an 83 inch of this TV. I feel like if you if you can afford to spend four thousand, maybe save up for another month or two and go ahead and just you know get you an LG uh, G2 um OLED that's what I would definitely encourage if you can afford four thousand dollars for the 83 of this TV I would get the 83 of the uh the 2022 flagship from LG um but they've got the 48 inch price right now at 889 that is just amazing guys um it was a thousand dollars for a long time um when I got them they were about 1200 I had bought two 48 inches and I used them as monitors they were really good like perfect like just absolutely perfect and um, I got rid of them because I wanted the uh, 55 inch uh, C2. So I bought the two C2s, have one in the, in the uh, dining room and I have one um, inside of uh, my, my main game room. So um, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I did. This TV available, 55 inch, it's right under $1,100, man. So uh, at about 1096, let's just call it 1100 bucks. You can get a 55 inch of this TV. Incredible, it's really good, priced really well. Um, everything else newer is going to cost more money. Obviously the S 95 B I have that in 55 inch and the C two, those are going to be more money. Um, the C one is so close to the C two for the price. It just comes out to be the better option. Now, let me just be transparent. The C two is my favorite TV right now. That is my overall favorite television right now. And I have been in front of a G, um, 
It's just that it it does enough of what I need it to do where I don't have any concerns. Uh, this TV in 77 inch is about $2,500. Listen, guys, $2,500. You can get a 77 inch of this TV. Now, when I got it last year, it was retail. It was about $3,600, um, $3,500 plus tax. And I've had this TV, the 77 inch, since then. And uh, it's just been really good for me. The 65, 1600 bucks, man. Just amazing. $1,600 is what it'll cost you to get in my opinion, the overall best 65 inch bang for the dollar. Now, again, you know, there will be people that will, will argue different logistics. Um, you know, I, I can't argue much with a picture quality perspective on the Samsung S95B, but it is a losing battle for any person that speaks on that when we talk about build quality. The S95B is one of the biggest disappointments from a physical external build quality presentation is just absolutely horrible, which is yet another reason. And I hate to rant one topic into this one that I am interested in seeing what Sony has to offer. Um, sometimes it is more it's worth paying more, um, you know, because with technology, you do kind of get what you pay for. And so, yes, the S95B is the, is the, is the new bleeding edge technology. I'm waiting to see what Sony has to offer. I'm waiting to see if Sony is going to provide me with a, a package that out of the box, I'm not going to have to return or exchange because I have bins and things like that. That is also not an issue with this TV. Um, I've, I've had this TV in three different iterations, 248s and then the 77. I've never had to return one. I've never had any issues where there was just a problem with the quality and it performing well for me. It's just, it's been really good for me. And, you know, my channel is not ran with any affiliated links or anything like that. So I'm not trying to push anything for commission. Um, it's just all about me just sharing my personal opinion about something that I've used and that has been great for me. I think it'd be really good for you guys too. But as I said, and as I always say, if you guys have questions, use the comment section. Let's have a conversation. I like to get my videos done raw. I come up with the topic during the day and then the nighttime when I'm done making my money, I come home, I get comfortable and I create my content. So thank you for the support. Please leave a like. Please consider subscribing if you have not subscribed and I will catch you guys on the next video. Max love.